went ahead and formed the quartet group. Now, in this particular group was Billy Farish, Lawrence Vinson, Joe Snipes, we had uh, Red Clock, Chesney Clock in that group. And uh, that was the Mighty Prophets. Mm -hmm. That was back in the early days. And, and these, some of those people was just little teenager boys, now they old men. <laughs> so that was a while back. It was, time was a lot different than they are today. Uh, back in those days, it wasn't anything strange to have 15, 20 groups on your anniversary. Because mostly everybody was farming back then. You mostly get up when you get ready. So you stayed out late. And uh, you invite groups from all over the neighborhood. They come in. Church might stay on 10, 11 o'clock that night. Like I say, you can sleep in late the next day. And you have rehearsals maybe several times a week because she had plenty of time to do different things. And uh, now our church, Union Grove, that was the last church on the list that would allow us to come in to have an anniversary. Had to fight like I don't know what to get that done. Finally, they let us in. We just we had about three anniversaries there, and it, it was a packed house each time. They really enjoyed it. And then we kept that group a few years. Then I moved on with the, uh, which you may, I think you know them, uh, the spiritual lights. I sung with them a few years. It's Clyde and Leroy Cash, those. And uh, sung with them a while. And then uh, we formed another group. Now I'm trying to think of that group's name. But in that group was Leon Johnson, Lewis Johnson, Thurman Woods, we call him Little Man Woods. His wife, Lola, she was our lead guitar player, real good. And uh, the Gospel Flames, that was the name of it. We stayed together several years. Then the Kings of Harmony called me in asked me to join them, wanted me to be the pres lead singer and president of that group. So I joined in with them. I stayed with them approximately 15 years. And then I retired from them. And that's been probably 15 years ago. I haven't been in a quartet since then. Just singing locally with the churches. That group formed in 1957, and it still exists now. Every once in a while, they go out on the road. I joined them in 1991. Mm -hmm. And back then, you, you, it, it seemed as though it was more freedom, in one way of speaking, than it is at the present time. And you didn't have to push as fast for things. You could just relax, go in, take your time. Kind of do as you see fit. 
and people would make you welcome, feel good. And it, that's what I liked about it then. But it's kind of totally different now. So I was getting older and uh, kind of wasn't enjoying myself as well as I once had. So I said, well, I think I stepped down, at least for a while anyway. So it's still been a while. So uh, we'll see how things come out in the future.